Today, I've got a little story for you. And it's a story about my granny, me, and my granny's friend, Gwen, and it was 1988. And the conversation happened outside Woolworths. <laughs> I remember it so well. And it started by Gwen looking at me and then looking at my granny and saying, is this the one? Here's the story. Let me get it up on my phone. It was the late 80s and unbeknownst to me, I was causing quite a stir in my granny's local town. Being referred to as the one may suggest an Olympian or a world explorer or a highly skilled medical professional or with a darker slant, someone who has committed a heinous crime. None of the above were true for me. I was seven and you know, just living my seven year old low key life. But it seemed my skill had been noted and the gossip circle, circles were rippling. My granny nodded proudly whilst delicately stroking the top of my head. I won't leave you in suspense any longer. News had traveled 219 miles that I, as a seven-year-old, could do a French plait in my own hair. Yep, that's right, people, my own hair at seven. I am, at 42, a bit of a frustrated hairdresser. And I was at seven. I was pretty lethal with a pair of crimpers. It came easy to me. I didn't even think twice about it. But my skill had been noticed. And yours, too, will be by noted too by the Gwens of the world. They may not say anything at first or engage, but that doesn't mean they are not listening, watching, and wanting to know more. So keep going. You will be spoken about in rooms that you've never been in by people you've never met. The Gwen committee won't give you a nod to start but they'll be right there with you, cheering you on every step of the way when you do. You never know who or where your work is connecting and landing. You don't know who is just about to email you. You never know who exactly needs to hear your message in that exact moment. Keep going. Show up in the fullest French plaited version of yourself. The Gwens will love that. They require that, they are waiting for that, and they are waiting for you. What do you take away from that story? Where are you hiding? What do you need to showcase? What do you need to fully embody and say, yeah, it's true, I can do a French plait in my own hair and I'm only seven. What is your equivalent of that and what are you gonna do about it? So the ripples can begin and people can begin to share your work and know about it rather than you hiding behind the scenes, just doing your version of your French plaque for yourself. I would love to know. I would also love to help you if visibility is on your mind and you want to get some great, brilliant stuff going in the mix and getting it out there. Lots of love and all the details are on my website. Lots of love. Bye.